Praise the Lord, beloved of the Most High God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I come before you today to talk to you because I got fired up when I heard somebody preaching a false message, telling people that the only way Gentiles could be saved was to be to follow the law and to bring themselves under the law. It's a lie from the pit of hell, and the truth ain't in that person who was speaking with a serpent tongue. Because we know that the Bible says the law was our schoolmaster, and it was to, it brought us unto Christ. It was to bring us to an end which is unto Christ. That there is no salvation in any other. We're going to find that out today in the scripture, which I know I'm preaching to the choir, but for those of you who don't know who happened upon this video, you're going to find out that, that there is no other name. And that is the other thing that I wanted to cover, is that there is only one name. And that's the name of Jesus. Now we have been under a full court press in these last days to turn away from the name of Jesus by these Hebraic devils that have come in who have spied out our liberty and they've tried to bring in another name and as I've said there, there is no salvation according to the scripture in any other name now I ain't going to fight with people about whatever it is in their language but it's very peculiar to me that I've noticed that people who speak other languages when they get to the name of Jesus they will say Jesus in their language and I don't mean in their tongue. I mean they'll say the name of Jesus in English and then go back to their tongue. And I've witnessed this numerous times. Now, whichever way a person prefers, whether it, it's whatever it translates to be, I don't know. I don't speak their language. They know their language. But in English, you're entitled to your own opinion. You're not entitled to your own facts. In English, his name is J-E-S-U-S. -S. That is a transliteration. Now... In the Gospel of John, the third chapter, the 18th verse, King Jesus is speaking. Now, Jesus, for those of you who don't know, is God Almighty. He is God manifested in the flesh. The scripture says so in numerous places. Stop listening to idiots and study the Bible for yourself. That's why the Bible says in Timothy, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You are responsible to know the word or yourself. Now, people have come against the name of Jesus trying to place us with these other names that we have no experience with and no dealings with. And I'm going to show you in the scripture where they were forbidden to preach in the name of Jesus. But also that Jesus himself, very importantly, we need to know what he said himself about his name. In the Gospel of John, the 18th chapter, excuse me, the third chapter, the 18th verse, it says, He that believeth on him is not condemned. Wait a minute. According to the heretic I was listening to last night, he said, You can only be saved by keeping the law. But here's Jesus, here's what Jesus said. He that believeth on him, he's speaking of himself, is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name singular of the only begotten Son of God. What is his name? Well, we're going to find out in a minute what his name is in case people are confused. We already know. But we're going to see what the scripture says the name is in Acts the fourth chapter we're going to start at verse 1 it says and they speak unto the people the priests and, ca and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them being grieved that they taught people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead and they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day, for it was now even time. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about five thousand. And it came to pass on the morrow that the rulers, their rulers, the elders, and the scribes, and Annas the high priest, and Caiaphas, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked by 
by what power or by what name have you done this? Now the context is this man has been healed and they're upset that this man was healed and it was a miracle that was undeniable. And so now they're questioning them by what name and what power they had done this. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at not of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with who? Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, what shall we do with these men? For that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them and is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem and we cannot deny it. But that is spread no further among the people let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth no man in this name. I'm going to keep telling y'all there are words in this Bible that are the definite article. When you see this, it means this. When you say that, it means that. When you see thee, it means thee. This one and no other. Verse 18, and they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of who? Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said to, unto them, whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for which was done. Remember Jesus said that they may see your good works and do what? Glorify your Father that is in heaven. Well, the man was about 40 years old, verse 22, on whom this miracle of healing was showed. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which hast made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is. The Gospel of John, the first chapter, tells you that Jesus is the word and that he was made flesh and that all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. Verse 25 in the book of Acts chapter 4, it says, Who by the mouth of thy servant David hath said, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? This is Psalm 2 he's quoting. The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the law and against his Christ. Jesus is Lord. He is the Christ appointed by the Father. He is the Savior and there is no other. The law cannot save you. It is only Jesus. And according to the scripture, it is the name of Jesus. 
And if they don't call on his name, they're going to be judged for it and they're going to be condemned. Verse 27 in Acts chapter 4. For the truth, for of a truth against the holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate and the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together. For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings. And grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching for thy hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and spake the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and the great grace was upon them all. At what name? The name of Jesus. Let's go to Philippians 2. We want to start at verse 5. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found and fashioned as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. See the Gospel of John, the 17th chapter. For a little elaboration on that. Verse 9. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him. And given him a name which is above. How many names? Every name. That at the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow. Of things in heaven. And things in earth. And things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of who? God the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Anyone who denies the name of Jesus is none of his. Jesus said, he who is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth the ball. You will know them by their fruits. People always want to make that about sin. You'll know them by what they say about Jesus. And if they deny his name. Be blessed. Beloved of the Most High God, in the mighty name of King Jesus, amen.